Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I am redoing this video here today uh, because I did a download last night for a plan with me video and that video's audio came out horrible. So I was going to use a microphone today and I decided against it. I wanna test one more time without this microphone because I wanna see if it was YouTube's quality or if it was my phone quality that messed up. So if you'll bear with me, I would so appreciate it. Um, thank you for coming back. It's Lisa from Luna Lux AZ and I'm here with my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. Today we're gonna to go through and discuss what was on that video uh, so I can kind of catch you up as to what I use to decorate my uh, first set of planning weeks. So I'm going to open this up here and we're going to move this over. And as you remember, this desk agenda doesn't have rings. So this is a perfect fit for my Hobonichi Teco cousin um, organizer, which I can plan my life in. I have two businesses. Uh, I have um, a lot of clients to schedule and I have a lot of things to schedule just for normal life and for a home and I have doggies and I have a busy life like the rest of you so this planner is something I can plan with like 95% of everything keeps it together in here I'm talking everything from uh, food lists to Christmas lists to finances um, to special dates and important events that I need to landmark in my calendar and remember so I can refer back to them. So this is my Hobonichi Teco. And what I did was I went through and I used the Agenda 52 dried floral foiled 30 sheet piece. There's 1,294 um, stickers in here. It's a lot of stickers to start with and it's from the paper studio. So this was from Hobby Lobby. Dried floral is the name of it. So if you're looking for it, I had a lot of ladies um, send me some info that they loved the color scheme in here and I love it. It's soft. It's very desert colorish for me. I live in uh, Arizona. So for me, this was a perfect fit to start with. So I'm going to put this guy right here and go through and we're going to go to here. We're gonna to go to the first week here and start with this. So what I did was I used a washi tape that matched these colors. I'm gonna pull out this and show you the washi. The washi tape is some pinks and some kind of grays and greens in there. And the color was just perfect. So I chose this one here to just start using to decorate my page. So I use it as a header up on top. And what that header does is it makes it easy to turn to the page. It makes it easy to get in there. So um, when you're opening the book, I find where your last set of tapes and stickers are, your book actually will open kind of for you. So that's what I did. I like to use a thicker tape if possible. And I use the Agenda 52 with that. Again, Hobby Lobby, and sometimes you can get them 50% off. It's a good starter pack. As time goes on, you're going to find that working with a lot of Etsy sellers that make some amazing, amazing stickers is going to be the route to go. And I will introduce you to some of those along the way. To me, that's like luxury. Having some high quality stickers, these women know what they're doing. They know how to make their stickers amazing and useful and functional for you. So that is something that I'll bring up on another video. So I'm going to move these aside. This is the washi tape, and I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby as well, maybe three or four years ago. So I have so many of these, and I love using them. So we're going to move that over. Um, basically, what you see here is that I used a highlighter uh, marker. It's 942 is the number, and it's a Tombow marker. I hope that is catching there. And um, this is going to give me this coloring that you see here. Um, I highlighted the days of the week instead of putting stickers up here. Usually I put stickers. When I was at my heyday of planning, I would go through and put these really cool stickers that some of those Etsy sellers make. And it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. But I just decided to keep it simple this time and use this Tombow marker. I love these Tombows. So what I did was I marked down where I work. I make a time block. I use time blocking so that visually I know where I'm going. Um, I made a tracker and my tracker is for my vitamin D, my iron, my workout, my water, my allergies, and my Flonies. I know that seems like something that I should remember, um, but I don't. I want to keep track of when, what day did I not use my Flonies? What day did I eat something that's outside of my allergy list? Um, what day did I work out? So today I actually did a workout. So I'm going to write down 
those little boxes represent like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'm gonna put my little box there and then 100 ounces of water in units, I mark that. So I've actually been, I'm ahead on all my water and I know I've been bad, vitamin D and iron, haven't taken them yet. Um, I just hate taking pills sometimes. So anyhow, this was the 4th of July holiday. Normally, like I said in my other video with poor sound quality, I would have had this whole thing decorated out as a 4th of July like bonanza, but I just wasn't feeling that. I was really feeling like a soft move in and these colors, just the optics of it for me was really nice to look at. So I marked down a section here on the lower right of chores and then I also put something decorative here and consistently I write things to be done here. So supplies I need to order for my esthetician business, weekly to-dos. Um, right in this section, I was gonna be marking down some things I was buying for. Um, I'm a Reiki therapist, so I perform Reiki um, techniques on patients and clients and I was gonna write down some ordering items but I'm waiting until the next week. So I left it blank. I keep it kind of separate. It's a different type of service. Um, when I go through and I did Wednesday's the day that I created that video with the bad sound quality. So Wednesday, I made the whole week spread. So Monday and Tuesday were just, I filled them in just to fill them in. But if something happened that I remembered on Monday or Tuesday that I wanted to write in here, I would jot it in. You know, let's say that um, the postman, I'm making this up, but the postman told me he was going to deliver my a uh, special package that I was waiting for. The FedEx guy told me he was going to deliver it instead of Thursday on Saturday. I would have written the conversation, documented it really quick. So I can always go back and say, okay, this is when he told me I was going to get my delivery. This is kind of what I do. I backlog special conversations or highlights, key highlights of an event so I can remember certain things. It jogs my memory and my memory works best that way. So the pen that I'm using here is a Jetstream pen. Um, this is my favorite pen and it is a 0.5 millimeter. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try and bring it closer. There we go. And this pen is my favorite. It writes small enough to fit into the little blocks, but also dark enough to see exactly what I'm writing. So I have written in here I'm going to be doing some makeup work today on a client so I have written that in here um, new I ate Oreos so if you're wondering why I put Oreos um, my dinner was a certain type of food but every time I eat Oreos I kind of get a little itchy so you can laugh if you want but if I note it down I might find like let's say the Oreos that I ate were flavored with something that I can't really eat. That's why I put that in there. So I document my food. Um, I know some ladies who have kids with allergies, they'll write down a day out of the week where they tested a food on them and that's where I'm at. So allergy wise, I keep records. My doctor wanted me to do that. I have an appointment here. Whenever I have appointments, I tend to use little arrows here or like little block stickers, but I chose the arrow just to be simple. Um, and I mark my work. I mark my work down so that if somebody calls me or if I'm going through my scheduler, I can see, hey, I'm busy, I can't do that. It's just easy to look and answer right away. On my chore list down here, Sunday is the day that I save for chores. I will work and see clients in the morning, but chores is something that is allotted for Sunday. Like if I have the whole week to do things and by Sunday I haven't done something, this is the day it's gonna get done. So. I know on my chore day, groceries in bulk are gonna be done. I know laundry better be started and done. My dog food, I'm doing that today, but until the dog food arrives on my kitchen table, it is not being crossed off. So I just wanted to refresh what was said in the other video, show you how I decorated, show you the washi tape that I used, show you the packet that I used, because I did get messages on Instagram asking me what was the product used. So dried floral is the color scheme. Again, these are kind of simple stickers to get started with. Um, I definitely next week I'm going to use a different um, planner Etsy seller and she's amazing. Um, that Etsy seller is called um, Whitebird, Whitebird Design Co. And actually I will show you 
here's what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna go a little green and um, her materials are just amazing. So there's different pages in here um, and I'll undo that one probably later today. So I just wanted to apologize for the volume. I'm learning as I go and I appreciate your patience. I will leave that video up so you can try and figure out if it's something you wanna to listen to, but I wanted to give you a quick refresh and I just hope you have a wonderful Saturday and uh, definitely by tomorrow, you will have a new video with my new design company stickers. All right, thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. And please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you.